The Rise of Skywalker by director J.J. Abrams is said to not only have a lot of action-packed sequences, but also giving us a return of space battles, land battles, and lightsaber duels in a proper way by, of course, Abrams and Chris Terrio that's going to be used in the sense that we have never seen it before on the big screen in Star Wars film history. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. So, one thing I gotta say that I am really looking forward to is, of course, exactly how Kylo and Rey are going to be utilized in the third act of the movie, which is usually give or take around the last 45 to 50 minutes of the movie itself, if it's a two and a half hour movie, give or take. So, looking at episode 9 here, the fact that J.J. Abrams is really giving us a lot of land battles, space battles, and lightsaber duels, let's get right into it. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for episode 9. Now, specifically, shot descriptions consisting of both Rey and Kylo Ren, where it's described that they are both running away from a large explosion in the background that is getting closer to them as they sprint for safety. Safety. It's said that eventually both Rey and Kylo duck for cover and jump into one of the trenches as the shockwave passes. The next describes how both Kylo and Rey are covered in ash, where their visibility is extremely limited, where Rey is looking around confused as to where Kylo Ren is. The sequence eventually progresses to the moment in which Kylo Ren surprisingly makes an appearance through the dust and attempts to attack and attempts to attack where both Rey and both of their lightsaber blades are locked together. It said that this is when two Knights of Ren interrupt the battle and fire their large blaster rifles at Rey, where she is able to use the Force Stasis technique with her other and with her other hand as she is still locking blades with Kylo Ren. Rey is said to eventually reverse the fire back at the Knights, where they dodge the fire. However, Rey uses the Force Pull technique to take their weapons away as they are knocked unconscious from hitting a wall. It's described to be a moment in which the Knights of Ren try to protect Kylo. The last goes over two other Knights of Ren kicking down Rey and breaking Kylo Ren free from their lightsaber lock, where Rey eventually force pushes those two Knights of Ren into the distance, where they are nowhere to be found, from the dust of collapsed outposts of the First Order. This is said to be the moment in which Kylo fights Rey again through a surprise attack, where he, where he now has the upper hand in the battle. So I want to go over a couple of parts about this. now. Do I necessarily believe that this is going to be the moment in which the Knights of Ren die by the hands of Rey? I don't think so. It doesn't seem like Rey is killing them. It just seems like that she is tossing them out of her way in order to focus on Kylo Ren. So, in case you guys out there are worrying on whether or not the Ren, worrying on whether or not the Knights of Ren are going to be killed off just like that, kind of like similar to what they did in The Force Awakens, you know, in the very beginning with a lot of the actors from other movies that actually had roles in the freighter with Han Solo that were killed by the Raptors. It's not going to be like that. It's going to be like the Knights of Ren are going to be very prominent in this movie. They're going to have a big role in Episode 9. And this is a moment in which the Knights are trying to protect Kylo during, of course, the lightsaber duel between both Rey and Kylo Ren, while both of their lightsabers are locked together. Now, keep in mind that this actually takes all place after both Rey and Kylo Ren are sprinting for safety and running away from a massive shockwave, most likely caused by the First Order Annihilators, which, by the way, are going to be the Disney version of the uh, First Order, or should I say, the Disney version of the weapons that we saw in Star Wars Dark Empire and Empire's End and stuff around those lines, which are actually called the World Devastators. So that shockwave that they are running away from, it most likely is just that. Now, this leads to a moment in which all of the First Order outposts around them collapse, creating a lot of dust, and there's a lot of visibility issues between both Rey, Kylo Ren, and the Knights of Ren. So, you can only imagine what the scenery is going to look like. It's going to be a fight between both Rey and Kylo. Keep in mind that this is not a flash fight, this is a real duel, which is always nice to know. This is a real duel between both Rey and Kylo Ren, where they are fighting in the dust surrounded around them, where there's a lot of visibility issues, they can't see exactly where each, where each other of themselves are, and that's exactly when the Knights of Ren come into play here, where they try to defend Kylo Ren and take down Rey. Roughly four Knights of Ren get involved in the fight so far, I'm not quite sure where the other two are, but what's really interesting about this is that this all takes place on the First Order battlefield, the moment in which we also have the Red Stormtroopers fighting the Resistance soldiers in the background. 
So you can really see how J.J. Abrams is really trying to implement a lot of action-packed sequences into Episode 9 in order to truly make this movie feel like an all-out war and a war to end all wars. As John Boyega once said over a year ago, that that's exactly what Episode 9 is going to be. It's going to be a war to end all wars, which really does make one wonder... Is there going to be another war conflict after the events of Episode 9 in the form of a new trilogy? We'll have to wait and see. Nonetheless, guys, I'm really impressed by what's going on between both Rey and Kylo and their lightsaber duels in this movie. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.